Hey guys, Jose with Kilovolt again. I'm here today to show you guys how to upgrade the firmware on the HLX series batteries. I'm gonna go step by step using the upper computer or PC to uh, try to update the, the firmware. Um, we do ship out or we do sell our kit here, which includes the converter, the RJ45 converter, which um, does plug into the battery and the computer. Uh, we do supply all the files that you will need in a flash drive to update this battery. If you do want to update the battery, please contact our technical support and we will get you out an uh, update kit with the proper firmware. Okay, so this is what's included in the package, your uh, converter, uh, USB converter and your RS-245 and also US your USB drive with the files that you will need to update this battery. Uh, first thing that you do is connect these two together. There you go. The USB end of the cable does go plugged into your computer. The other end of the cable, which is your Ethernet cable or your um, RJ45 cable, goes plugged into the side terminals of the battery. There's two terminals here. Does not matter which one you plug in. Once you do plug in uh, your cables, once everything is connected, you do go ahead and open up your Kilovolt um, upper computer firmware. Uh, this also will be supplied to you in this USB drive. Uh, once you do have uh, your firmware, your upper computer open, um, you do have to connect to the battery itself. So here you do have to connect, um, select your port. Right now our open port is uh, COM8. Uh, your computer might be different. Uh, you might have to select a different COM port. Uh, once you do select your COM port, uh, you do open up the port here, press that button. You will get some notifications here uh, telling you if it is communicating to the battery, if the battery is up and running. Once you do start sampling, you will notice that um, a lot of notes come up here. Communication is normal. That does mean that you are communicating to the battery. Your green LED here is, it is telling me that the computer is not connected to the battery. Uh, so you, we are ready to do the firmware update. Once all of this is normal, we do have to select the device upgrade tab here on the top of the program. This is gonna open up this window. This window here is actually going to um, locate the file for us or the firmware for this battery. So we do have to look for that file. I already have it saved on my desktop and it is going to be in this USB drive. So you are going to direct the computer to open up this USB drive and get the firmware. So once you select the firmware, it is going to tell you the location that you did point to. Uh, it is going to tell you that you're ready to update. Uh, once you're ready, you just hit the upgrade button. This is going to prompt you, are you sure you want to update? In this case, we are. It's going to give you an erase file right into Flash, and you're going to see this screen pop up. You're going to wait till this is completely done. There's no more scrolling, no more letters scrolling. Once that is done, uh, the battery is fully updated, and we'll move on to the next step. All right, so now uh, upper computer has stopped. Uh, updating the battery. Battery was successfully updated. It's going to display right here, upgrade complete. Once you get that little note, you, now you're able to go back into your data collection. Um, refresh the connection to the battery and now you're going to see that your firmware was updated. Uh, battery communication is normal. Uh, battery took the firmware and now you're ready to use your battery. That's as simple as it is to upgrade the, or update the firmware on the HLX series batteries. Mm -hmm.